I don't care how many times you see them. The Disney monorails are just cool. I don't care if other people complain about them getting old and need an upgrade. They're cool! I mean, just listen to that hum. That's cool. Sure, they've been around since day one. I mean, this is from Time Magazine from October of 1971. Check out Blackbeard's Island in Bay Lake. And I'll admit, they could use some TLC and maybe some upgrades so the doors don't come open while you're riding down the track. But they have added on to the system twice, and at a million bucks a mile, I don't see them doing it again. The Disney monorail system consists of three routes, and the express system that goes from TTC, the Tickets and Transportation Center, is definitely the most used. As the name implies, the express monorail takes you from Tickets and Transportation directly to the Magic Kingdom, passing through the center of the Contemporary Resort. Also at Tickets and Transportation, you can get a monorail directly to Epcot. This leads to not only some great photo opportunities from the monorail, but also from the ground when you're at Epcot. Now the Resort Line monorail is just that. It services the Contemporary, the Polynesian, and the Grand Floridian. It also goes to the Magic Kingdom, so if you're at TTC, he's over at the Resort Line if your Magic Kingdom line is kind of packed. Might be an alternative to getting over to the Magic Kingdom if you don't mind stopping at the Polynesian and the Grand Floridian on the way. And remember, monorails aren't just a cool way to get around, they are 100% handicap accessible. This is the elevator that services the Resort Line monorail over at the Contemporary Resort. And I've spoken time and time again what a joy it is to push a manual wheelchair up a ramp, and at Epcot, you don't have to. They put in an elevator to make disabled access that much easier. Well, since the monorail's here, let's go over the onload procedures. A ramp is used to make up the difference in height between the monorail and the monorail loading platform. Now knowing we were going to come back, I just pulled straight in because the unload is going to be on the opposite side when I come back to Epcot. Leaving Epcot, you get a bird's eye view of how big the parking lots really are at Disney. Pretty sure we can fast forward through this. We all know what trees look like. But this is one of Disney's cool solar farms they put in. It's not the one that's shaped like Mickey Mouse. But then, just after you cross over Epcot Center Drive, the monorail starts riding parallel to World Drive, the entrance to Magic Kingdom. And arriving guests 
get their first glimpse of the really cool monorails. Okay, now that we all know what traffic looks like, I think we can fast forward through this too. And then here's the Disney toll booth, where Disney starts taking your money. Unless you're an annual pass holder, in which case, they've already taken it. And I know we all know what construction looks like in Central Florida. And that's a bus from Shades of Green, the military's MWR operated resort here at Disney. Open to military members, their families, and retirees. And behind it is Magic Kingdom's parking lot, the second largest in the United States. Making a turn now to go towards tickets and transportation. We'll go right through the middle of the parking lot to get there. Hey, there's one of the new parking lot trams. the magic video we're back underway to Epcot after offloading and unloading new passengers and also during the onload and offload of passengers and the onload of another ECB I've gotten turned around and I'm facing the opposite side Disney landscaping with construction equipment. And more of the highway traffic on the way back to Epcot. Now, after getting turned around, here's the offload procedures at Epcot.
Thank you, sir. Hey, you're very welcome. You all have a great day. Uh, we will right. do that. Thank you. Yes, sir. Back. Again, manual wheelchair users, get ready for the ride of your lives. Although I will admit, with regenerative braking in my power wheelchair, it was nice to see the little buttons light up again as the wheelchair got charged on the way down the hill. who was in a wheelchair when Epcot originally opened who can tell me what the original setup was, let me know in the comments below. And my favorite part about doing the Epcot loop? Well, even though I've already gone through security at Epcot to get onto the monorail, the way they've got their security stations set up, in order to get back into Epcot, I'm going to have to go through security check again. So when we're making considerations for future alternative transportation, the monorail may still be it. Because, let's face it, it's cool! Emmy's able to sleep knowing that you've liked, commented, and subscribed. And remember when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the little bell icon. That way you'll be notified next time I upload a video. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yep, cool.